It's Saturday afternoon in the Cool to Craft Design Studio, and I'm supposed to be cleaning, but I've decided that I'd rather craft today. This is a mannequin that I bought a few years ago for a photo shoot that I did with my sister Heidi. We created some funky fashions, and this mannequin was perfect for that fashion shoot, but she's been just standing in the corner of the studio ever since. I'm not really fond of this gray fabric, and so I want to transform her with decoupage. I think she can have a lot more character in her design and I can do some great photo shoots with necklaces and accessories. So, let's get started. The first thing that I want to do on my mannequin is to fill in and cover some of these gaps. So I'm going to just use duct tape. And this is the color I happen to have in the studio, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this duct tape to just cover up that gap. And I'm doing this on all of the areas that are open. So that is front, back, and sides. I also found this really cool printed tissue paper in my studio supplies. I don't have a whole lot of sheets, so what I want to do is extend this as far as I can. So what I've decided to do is to cover my entire mannequin with white tissue paper first. I like to tear my pieces of paper when I'm decoupaging, so whether you're using tissue or decorative papers, just tear them. Because this mannequin is larger, I can tear these pieces into larger pieces. If you are decoupaging a smaller surface, then just tear those pieces into smaller shapes. This fabric's going to absorb a lot of this decoupage, so be generous. You might find that you want to just go ahead and use it right out of the bottle. And I am using the matte decoupage finish. You can use your matte or your glossy finish. You will put your decoupage down on the fabric, lay your tissue in place, and then you're going to apply the decoupage over it. Don't worry about bumps or crinkles or tears in your tissue. That just gives this decoupage piece the beautiful finish that I think you'll really like. I finished gluing several layers of the white tissue on the front, so I've put my mannequin back into the stand and it makes it a lot easier to work on the sides and the back. Be sure when you are using your decoupage medium that you keep your brush very wet and moist with the decoupage medium. That will help to keep the tissue from tearing. Also be very quick. You don't need to over brush your tissue or it will tear. When you're working on these curved areas, just use smaller pieces or strips and it's very easy to get those pieces to lay down over those curves. Now that I have all of my white tissue paper glued in place, I'm going to turn on the fan to speed up the process of drying. It's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to check to see if this is dry. Ooh, it's still moist at the bottom. I'm going to leave the fan running. Okay, we are ready for our final decoupage layer, which is this brown printed tissue paper. And we apply this layer in the same way that we applied our first layer. Put a coat of the decoupage medium onto the mannequin and then apply a layer over the top. So here you can see that I overbrushed that area and I tore the paper. Not to worry, we can repair that. Just tear a little piece a little bit larger than your repair and glue it in place. As I'm gluing these pieces, I like to lay the printing at different angles. I like the interest that adds to the design. Whenever you need to wrap the tissue around a curved edge, you can tear it and then fill in with more pieces. I like to smooth out any of the extra ridges of the decoupage medium right away. The conversion is complete. I just need to let my mannequin dry overnight and then I'm going to check all of the edges to make sure I have them glued down. I did end up using two sheets of the brown printed tissue paper and I used the full 16 ounces of the matte decoupage. It's so fun to see this finally finished. It's been in my mind for two years. I'm delighted with the way it looks 
and you can create so many different looks on top of this. You can paint, you can stamp, you can add embellishments and really finish this off with a lot of style. I'm going to keep my mannequin plain because I want to use it for photography, but I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's cool to craft. Now, back to cleaning the studio.